guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica with Dancing Ava Lady, and today is the day. Oh my god, it's the day. Today is the day. We are chopping off my hair today. Um, if you follow me on Instagram or follow me on Facebook, you'll know that before the holidays, I think it was even like early November or late October, I asked people on social media whether or not I should chop my hair off, and um, they said, go for it. <laughs> So that's what I'm doing today. I am chopping off my hair. I have not had my hair this long since before my wedding. So I grew it out really long for my wedding. And then right afterwards, I did chop it off into a short angled bob, and I loved it. I absolutely loved it. What I'm going to do is I am actually going to donate my hair to cancer. Uh, it's been a dream of mine to be able to do that in like a long dream goal, eh, you know what I mean. Um, but it's been something I wanted to do for a really long time and I've always put it off because I, you know, I just wanted to try different styles, blah, 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 so it was never quite long enough to be able to donate to a hair organization. Unfortunately, as of the end of December, Pantene no longer accepts um, real hair to make wigs. So instead, I was looking up, researching other organizations, and I found one that really spoke to me. Nelson and I, as long, along with a couple of my girlfriends, we've been going through some styles and things to see what style I'm going to go for. I have not picked yet. I have a couple that I have in mind. One is like super duper short. It's like almost pixie with long bangs. But I think that might be a little bit too short. And the other one's like a longer bob with lots of texture. I love texture, but I can't maintain it. That's my issue. I can't maintain styling my hair. I think in part I'm just, I'm really busy. And the other thing is just I'm, I'm a little on the lazy side. I love having the hair so that I could just kind of like whip it into a ponytail. I just do it a side braid, right? And it's great. But uh, yeah, so come along the journey with me. If they let me film in the salon today, I'll be filming them chop it off my hair. So I measured it last night. My top layer here, because my hair is layered, the top layer here I don't think is quite 12 inches. Um, I think in order, well it is 12 inches but I'd have to go to about here. I'm really bad with measurements so, but I think I'd have to go about here. And I think that's a little bit on the too short side for me, but my longer layers down here, whoop, it goes all the way down to my diaphragm area. Um, this is like 12 inches would be about here and that is about the length I'm going for so I'm going to ask my stylist Trevor to see whether or not he could just kind of whip this part up and then I'll be donating this section here all the way around try to get Jennifer on board to cut her hair with me too but she's not having it so that's okay I'll keep working on her I don't want to cut my hair why not you want to cut your hair with mommy no please no we'll do it together it'll be fun You've never had your hair cut. How do you know? Well, because I don't like cutting my hair, and, and, it, and it makes me sad. Jennifer's actually never had a haircut. She's four and a half, and I have never cut her hair, so... Maybe after today she'll see that mommy has long hair and she chopped it off and it'll grow back. She'll be reassured that she can also grow her hair. So wish me luck, guys. Also, I want to make sure you guys stay to the end because I have a really, really, really exciting announcement that I'm going to make at the end of this video. Heard it? No, it's okay. I'll be sitting for a long time.
Yeah. Thank you. Are we supposed to drive? Um, I could probably try it at home. Okay, you're gonna hang up like, it's, it's a like beer. drive much. <laughs> Do you like it, boy? Like mommy's hair? Does it look nice? No? Oh. One, two, three. Ta da! <laughs> Here it is. This is my new do. Oh my gosh, it's so short. It's really, really short. But you know what? Um, When I first got it done, I didn't love it. So this it's a couple days later now. Uh, I just. I didn't have time to film a follow-up video and that's why I haven't posted anything up on social media about my head <laughs> except for the fact that I did this. Right after Trevor cut it, he... How do I say this? I liked it but I didn't love it at that moment in time. I think it's just the way he blew it out, like when he blew dry it. It was kind of really puffy here. So it made my face look super duper round. But the next day, I liked it. I did my makeup, I did my, uh, and I, you know, put on some earrings and stuff. And then I was like, oh, I kind of love it. And now I, this, I've styled it myself. And I think I did a good job. It only took me like five minutes. Literally, while John never was waking up this morning getting ready, I took five minutes, ran a flat iron just through the top layer, and then I threw a little bit of argon oil on it. And it's been like this all day. I just finished working an event, and it still looks decently nice. So what do you guys think? Do you like it? We had to actually end up going shorter than I thought we would initially have to go. Uh, we, I thought that would get to about just the right chin length here. Which this is almost chin length, but we ha in order to get the 12 inches, we needed to go up just a little bit. So this is probably the shortest I've ever had my hair since university, like my pre-Nelson years. I cut it short one other time, but even at that point, I don't even know if I ever cut it this short. But yeah, I love it. I do. I really, really, really do like it. It's What I like about it is that now it can showcase my earrings a lot more because, I, you know, I love big, big dangly earrings. And it's just, it's kind of edgy. But at the same time, it still could be really fun and whimsical, which is what I wanted. I wanted something that could be edgy, but yet fun, fun and whimsical that you never wouldn't be embarrassed by. Not that she would be embarrassed by me, I hope. Actually, no. I think there are days. I really do think there are days. This is the amount of hair I cut off. It was so funny because it was still a little bit damp um, when I brought it home. And I had it hanging in our bathroom. And... It actually startled Nelson when he went into shower that night. He was like, Ooh. Washing my hair took so little effort. I think I was in the shower maybe six or seven minutes less than normal. It was just so fast and it dries so fast. So right now I kind of really love it. And what do you guys think about my earrings? Aren't they so pretty? These are the new Mark ones. I love how springy they are. So here's the big announcement. I decided to donate my hair, right, to an organization called Wigs for Kids, which is based out of St. Catharines, Ontario. I just feel that, you know, this organization, um, it, it works with children and I work with a lot of children and so I think it's just, it's really near and dear to my heart. Uh, there's also an option that I can fundraise for them. So I've decided to run a fundraiser for campaign five, six, seven, and eight. During those four campaigns, my plan is to, uh, any, advanced technique products I sell, so like the hair mask, the argon oil, the shampoos, and anything from the kids' body line, so like the detangling spray that's coming out, as well as, you know, like the soapy slimes. I'm going to donate from there, whatever the brochure price is, I'm going to donate 25% from that to this organization at the end of campaign eight once I total everything up. So how are you able to support this fundraiser? One is to, of course, purchase the products. You can either purchase from my e-store, which is link is down below, and it can be shipped directly to your home, or you can purchase through me and I will deliver it to your place as long as it's within the area that I deliver to. Number two is to share this video. By sharing this video, not only will you be able to help me spread the word that I am doing this fundraiser for Wings for Kids, but it also brings awareness to the cause. Pantene no longer accepts real hair donations. 
a lot of people just thought, oh my gosh, there's no more hair donations. But there are other organizations out there. It doesn't necessarily have to be for Wig for Kids. There are other organizations that will accept your hair and make them into wigs for people who are suffering from cancer and they're going through chemotherapy, they're going through radiation, and they just need something to pick them up. So I think that if we could share this message, that would just it has the, the power to brighten someone's day. So thanks so much for watching guys. And so once again, my fundraiser will be going from campaign five, which is current now, until the end of campaign eight, I will donate 25% of whatever the brochure price is to the cause from anything from the kids bath and body line or our advanced technique, like the shampoos and masks, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So thanks again for watching guys. Let me know what you guys think of my new do in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, enjoyed my journey of getting my hair cut with me, make sure you do give me a big fat thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, please do click that subscribe button as well as the bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notification. I do have new videos up every single week. I do a minimum of two, aim for three. Sometimes if I have some extra time, I do have a fourth one. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.